Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and today we're going to ask the throw cards. Does he think you're pretty? You guys got that? Does he think you're pretty? All right. Hey cards, what's up? Does he think that she's pretty? All right, for those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer. When you're ready for a personal reading, hit the link. Hit the PayPal link in the description box below. In addition to that, please download our app. It's available for free. There are links in the description box. And subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so yet, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, share the video. All right, so what's the question? Does he really think you're pretty? Does he really think you're pretty? All right, we've asked questions like he thinks. All right, let's see. Does he think? We've asked questions like, does he think you're fat? Does he really love you? And today we're going to ask, does, I have all the questions here. <laughs> does he really think you're pretty? All right, let's jump into it and ask away. And if you want a relationship reading, a real reading, if you want to know your compatibility for real, then hit the PayPal link and I'll set it up and we'll set it up and I'll have a look at your astrology charts and we'll figure it out. Does he? Wow, emperor. Oh, right, well, there you go. You know what? Right off the bat, I think he does. <laughs> like, I, you know, like I think he does. It's not enough to th that he thinks you're pretty. He has to act on that. He has to show that you're pretty. He has to make you feel pretty. Right? It's not just enough does he think you're pretty. Do you think does he think you're pretty? Yeah, obviously, <laughs> but there's more to it than that. And the emperor says he's got to show it to you. He's got to demonstrate. It's being, he's got to show you. He's got to show you. But that's the deal, straight up. Does he think you're pretty? I think you have his attention. It's the emperor. And he's getting ready to make his move or decide or figure out what's going on. And I think he's got to take control of the situation. Oh, my goodness. The sun card. Oh, man. Does he think you're pretty? I Like, yeah. Well, right off the bat. Well, there's a lot of attraction in this relationship. I don't know if you guys have started a relationship yet or if you just know each other at a distance or you've known each other for years or what the deal is. Or maybe it's just a friend of yours or maybe, you know, whatever. But like, oh, I think it's I think there's a tremendous amount of attraction in this situation. I think one person is it's the sun card, right? Like one person is is decidedly drawn towards the other person like they can't not be drawn towards them. It's the sun. It's like the earth can't not revolve around the sun. It's not how it works. And so one person is definitely bound to the other person, whether it's spiritually or psychologically or karmically or sexually. Do they think uh, you're pretty? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's obvious. They really do. There's some kind of attraction there. Now we have the six of coins. So Someone is obviously second guessing someone else and there's a reason for it. Maybe he's not behaving as if he thinks you're pretty or maybe he thinks you're pretty uh, or he's telling you that you're pretty, but he's looking at other girls. Uh, and this card here, six of coins is actually reversed. So I feel as if you're getting the jerk around here or you feel because the bottom cards are kind of how you feel. So he might be saying that you're pretty. He might be taking control of the situation. He might try even be treating you as if you're pretty but the six of coins it's kind of it's not exactly full-on deception but it is offering somebody something that they have no intention of giving them so watch out he might say you're pretty say you're pretty and then walk around and say you're not pretty behind your back or say you're needy or he'll say uh here he might be saying something behind your back so watch out for it or maybe he's unavailable, six of coins. He's being really nice to you, or he's giving you all of this affection. He's doting on you as the emperor. Only only the emperor and the son can dote on you like this. Uh, but he's unavailable. He's a six of coins. He's offering you a little bit, but he can't, he can't make himself available. Then there's temperance, and temperance is reversed. He can't even meet you halfway. So maybe he thinks you're pretty, but he's married. Maybe he thinks he, you're pretty, but he's in a relationship. Maybe he thinks you're pretty, but he's like lying to you about something. I don't know what, but whatever it is, he can't meet you halfway. It's temp or you can't meet him halfway. He can't meet you halfway. And you guys just can't get your boogie happening to the same song. You guys just can't groovy. You guys just can't. 
have that. There you go. You guys just can't. Temperance reverse. You can't make it work. I don't know why you can't make it work, but you can't make it work. Well, I'll, I'll tell you why you can't make it work if you see more cards, but that's the deal. Does he really think you're pretty? Yeah, I think he really does think you're pretty, but there's more to it in the relationship. Like he can't commit. Uh, and as such, there's a bit of heartbreak happening here. Five of cups reverse. I think somebody's throwing a pity party. I'm the more I look at this card, the more I see the person focusing on the negative, not on the positive. Unfortunately, this card's actually reversed. And when it re it's reversed, there actually is something negative to focus on. So it's still someone who's throwing a pity party, but they might have a reason to throw a pity party. I have a feeling the guy thinks you're pretty, but you got you can't get together. See, uh, six, of, uh, six of coins reversed in temperance, and then the five of cups reversed. I'm getting the vibe that you guys can't somehow get it together, or maybe you're, you're arguing a lot, or he treats you as if you're the center of the universe. He does treat you the best he can, uh, but for whatever reason, he's holding back, or one of you is holding back, or there's an emotional situation at play. Can't make it work. Two of cups reversed. You guys can't get it together. It's reversed. You guys can't get it together. So maybe he's dating somebody. Maybe he's married. Like, I don't know. But one of you, one of you seems to be unavailable. I know that's not the question. I know you're, at, you're not asking, are we going to get together and live happily ever after? I know you're just asking if he thinks you're pretty. And I think he does think you're pretty. But I don't think he's able to express it. And that's the deal. You know, I, I think that's the deal. And because he can't express it, it's causing heartbreak. You know, it's causing you to second guess relationships. Two of cups reversed, just second guessing relationships. Or you're not seeing the potential in a relationship. Or you can't take advantage of the cups. Hey, you guys want to see something interesting? Two of cups. For those who follow the channel and, or study astrology, or this is Tarot, but study Tarot or astrology with me. Do you remember the, um, uh, was it, he, was he Norse? It was the, um, the ascended master, um, oh, I can't remember his name, Aeon, not Aeon, Aegean, or Agnes. Was it Agnes? I can't remember. The ascended master who turned himself into a swan uh, to be with his lover, to be with his lover or to, to marry his lover or something like that. Do you guys remember that? Agnes, I think it was. And then And in the Two of Cups, here we go. We have the Swans in the Two of Cups, or in this version of it. All right, whatever. Next, Palace of Coins. Money is important here. Do they really think you're pretty? Yes. <laughs> yes. The answer is yes, but. Then the Ten of Cups. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. He doesn't just think you're pretty. He thinks you're absolutely gorgeous. Ten of Cups, gorgeous. He thinks you are everything he's ever dreamed of. The Ten of Cups is all of your emotional dreams coming true. This guy doesn't think you're pretty. He's got like, you guys, you make him tighten the man panties. Oh, yeah. You got, this guy's going to get like, this guy has an experience every time he thinks of you. <laughs> so he definitely thinks you're pretty, but... There's a lot of negative stuff in this reading. Like, there's some very powerful stuff. Very, very positive stuff. But at the same time, it doesn't... It looks like you guys have trouble getting it together. Does he think you're pretty? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you've been here before. What is the deal? Are you some kind of super enchantress or something? Or, like, are you some kind of, like, super seductress? The world card reversed. You've been here before, and you don't know what to do. Like, is the guy married? Is the guy dating somebody? And like, is this, the, the, is he a bad boy? Is he like, like there's some reason you guys can't make it happen? Or are you always falling for the wrong guy? Like the world card's reversed. You've been here before, but you're going to, and you're going to be here again <laughs> for whatever reason. Does he think you're pretty? Damn, yeah, he thinks you're pretty, but he can't, you guys can't make it work. You're all of his dreams. You're everything he wants, but. You're ten of cups. You're everything he wants, but but you can't make it happen. Oh, two of swords. Well, you got to make a decision. Maybe you're dating somebody right now. Whoa, yeah. Oh wow. I love reading the cards for you. This is like it gets so juicy. <laughs> two of swords. 
maybe you have a decision to make. Maybe you like this guy and you have to make a decision if you're going to give him a chance or you're going to have to make a decision if you should do something about something. But two of swords, Libra energy. Remember, Libra is only as single as they want to be. You got to make a decision. Wow. And you've been here before. Date married men much? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Empress, here we go. <laughs> and so now here we go. The new beginning you're hoping for. So if you want to, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, know that there's going to be a delay coming and it's going to be emotional and it's going to be wussy. And this new beginning is clearly because the card is reversed, right? This new beginning you're hoping for, the Empress, new beginning, this card is delayed. So watch out. It's not going to be. After you make your decision, I would not expect happily ever after, no matter what you decide to do. And the question is, I'm getting excited in this reading. Does he really think you're pretty? This reading is turning into, wow, Sonny, I, does he think I'm pretty? I want to like go spend the rest of my life with him. I'm a double Scorpio, man. It's how I get. <laughs> it's how, it's how I get. I'm, a bit, I'm a bit of a nester. <laughs> okay, so like, whatever. So this would not work for... And Aquarius, Aquarius, delay. okay, whatever. Does he think you're pretty? Yeah, I think you. Yeah, he thinks you're pretty, man. Uh, nine of Wands. So, so yeah. Does he think you're pretty? Yeah, he really does think you're pretty. But I don't think there's anything he can do about it. Uh, so, and maybe you don't want to do anything about it, right? Maybe you just want to be friends, and you're like, hey, he thinks I'm pretty, and I just want to use that to get anything I want. You know, people do that all the time. Yeah. He thinks I'm pretty. He has a crush on me. I think I'm going to screw him out of his money. I think he's going to, I'm going to make him join my MLM team. <laughs> do people still do that? Of course, he's like, yeah, he thinks I'm pretty. I'm going to suck him for all the money. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, do whatever you want. <laughs> do whatever you want. It's your life. It's your karma. It's up to you. But do, does he still think you're pretty? Yeah, he does. He really does still think you're pretty. Uh, don't make a fight out of it, right? Nine of Wands, don't make a fight out of it. Two of Swords, you've got to make a decision. Uh, Empress Reversed, uh, he's a very loving person, even if he doesn't always show it. Even if he doesn't always show it, he's a very loving person, and he super loves you. And that's the action. When you're ready for a personal reading, if you want me to do your compatibility, then um, hit the PayPal link in the description box below, and I'll gladly set it up, and I'll do a per you know, we'll have a personal reading, and I'll show you exactly what your compatibility says. And... I'll show you if you guys are going to get married, pregnant, whatever. <laughs> that's the action. Anyways, that's the action. That's the action. Download the app, subscribe to the channel, and be super cool. From the sunny side of the net, I'm sunny. Reminding you guys, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. It's together that makes it a beautiful day. From the sunny side of the net, I'm sunny. Wishing everyone the best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon. Does he still love you? Yeah, the guy's freaking hooked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody be cool. I'll see you soon.